Welcome friends once again to another project review. Today's model is from the Yoton Amazon online store and this is their latest projector called the Yoton Y7. This is a native HD 1080p model with an elegant design featuring Wi-Fi screen mirroring and you also get a 100 inches stretch projector screen. So in this review we take a look at its design, display quality and features and you'll get to decide whether this projector is right for you. Stay tuned or my full review is up next. This model has a native resolution of 1920 by 1080. Its display is LCD and its light source is LED. It has an aspect ratio of 4 to 3 and 16 to 9. It has 9000 lumens. It has 50,000 hours LED lamp life. It has a maximum viewing distance of 4 meters with a maximum projection size of 140 inches. It uses DC power consuming 60 watts and it has a 4 ohm 2 watts internal speaker. Please note, its contrast ratio is not listed anywhere on the Amazon page or in the user manual. So in the box contains the Y7 model itself, one infrared remote control, one HDMI cable, a 24 volt 2.5 amps power adapter, the AC cable for the power adapter, one auxiliary cable, a kickstand screw, a user manual and quick start guide, a 100 inches stretch projector screen, and a pack of adhesive wall hooks for mounting the screen to a dry wall. So this model falls within the medium size category as it measures just around 6 and 3 quarter inches long by 8 and a half inches wide. At the front has an IR sensor and a hard cover for the projector lens. All its IO ports are located to the side, consisting of one HDMI input port, one USB 2.0 port, one auxiliary port, a headphone jack, the DC power inlet, and its exhaust vent. To its rear has a rear-facing IR sensor, its internal speaker vent, and some intake vents. To the top has manual press button controls, a focus adjustment wheel, and a vertical keystone correction lever. And below this projector has four anti-skid rubber pads, some more intake ventilation holes, and a hot seat screw hole for mounting to a tripod, as well as for a screw type kickstand. So currently, I have it set on a projector stand at 7 feet 2.1 meters for my 72 inches projector screen, and at this distance, it projects a 64 inches display. In a moment, I will set it on a 100 inches stretch projector screen and we'll get a full scope of its display quality. So this is its main menu and it consists of shortcuts to access devices connected to its HDMI port, its auxiliary input, and it has shortcuts to access media from external storage. There is a screen mirroring option where you can mirror your mobile devices and you have a shortcut to the settings area. The settings area in this model is pretty standard, consisting of picture settings, where you can change the picture mode, color temperature, its aspect ratio, its projection direction, and its zoom settings. Next, you have its sound settings, where you can change the sound mode, its speaker balance, you have sleep timer settings, and you have system options where you can change the on-screen display language, you can restore the factory default settings, you can change its on-screen display duration, you have a blue screen mode, and you have software updates via USB. 
when it comes to onboard decoders to play 4K videos and videos with surround sound audio formats such as Dolby Atmos and DTS Audio, my test revealed that it cannot play 4K HDR videos and downscale to 1080p. And out of all the surround sound audio formats, it can only play DTS HD Master Audio and DTS X. Other 1080p videos with surround sound formats will play, but there will be no audio. This projector comes with Wi-Fi screen mirroring for Android and iOS devices and to connect your mobile device is very simple. Simply open your preferred method of mirroring whether Android or iOS. On your mobile phone, open your casting app and search for the Yotan ID and select it to begin casting. So to test the quality of its display, I will now play my list of videos using an Android TV box connected to its HDMI port.
and only a win for Barca would be enough because it would give them the same number of points as Atletico but the head-to-head -head goal difference is what counts in the case of a tie on points the mosaic of the Camp Nou and the Barcelona hymn being sung as referee Mateo Loof prizing presence on the bench as well Atletico playing in yellow, Barca in uh, their traditional red and blue Barca. Alves in a bit of space. Adriano. Adriano shoots. It's a typical Adriano shot. Unable to really test Courtois, but Coque with the ball. Via to his right. So the videos played smoothly and the display was of a high quality. Just keep in mind, it's recommended that this projector be operated in low light settings as its lumens is not bright enough to overcome sunlight. This is what the quality looks like when applied to 3D gaming. Included in this purchase is a 100 inches stretch projector screen, which can come in handy for outdoor use. So here I have it mounted onto my wall using the included adhesive wall hooks, and let's take a look at its display. Traditional red and blue Barca. Alves in a bit of space. Adriano. Adriano shoots. It's a typical Adriano shot. So unlike the quality you get on a matte fabric projector screen, the cloth fabric tends to make the display look a little hazy. Also keep in mind, it has a maximum viewing distance of 4 meters that can deliver a 140 inch display. Here it's at 8 feet 2.4 meters and it's projecting an 81 inches display on the screen. For fan noise, from a distance of around 1 meter, it measured around 47 decibels. So in summary, the Y7 falls within the budget category, but it does have a nice display and elegant design. Its internal speaker does produce clear audio, but it's not very powerful to fill large rooms, so it's recommended that you connect an external speaker or receiver via its auxiliary cable for a cinematic experience. Even though it has Wi-Fi screen mirroring for Android and iOS devices, it does not have Bluetooth, which would have allowed for Bluetooth audio. So friends, this brings to an end of my review. Currently, this projector is being sold on Amazon for $149.99, but you can get it for $99.99 with the $50 discount coupon upon checkout. This is a steal of a deal for this little projector, so to take advantage before stocks run out, see the link in the description below this video. Thanks for watching. Give this video the thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and support the work that I do here. Links in the description are my affiliate links and using them to purchase or even just to view the product provides financial support to this channel and provides the means for me to acquire new products for review, so thanks for utilizing my links. If this is the first time viewing one of my videos, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell to be notified when I release new videos or decide to do a giveaway. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video, stay tuned and see you in the next one.